What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Dean aka The Blue Crusader and in this Minecraft tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Minecraft Forge for 1.14.4 and any previous or newer versions and how to install mods as well. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All the links will be in the description below guys so do make sure to check that out if this tutorial helps you make sure to smash a like button so more people see it and make sure to share it like subscribe to the channel for more minecraft videos let's get into it if you want to go to minecraftforge.net i will leave the link below and on the left it will say the versions that forge supports all the way back to 1.1 now you want to click on 1.14 and we're going to go to 1.14.4 because that's the most recent version and then what you want to do is you can show all versions and you want to go to the top one which is the latest this is usually the one that's recommended and you want to click on installer so we're just going to go ahead and just install minecraft forge now it's only recent the forge got updated to 1.14 i have got another tutorial for people who want to use minecraft fabric loader to install mods so if you do want to check that out go on my channel and i show you how to install fabric but everyone knows that forge is the best mod loader and now that it supports 1.14 it also supports 1.14.4 so just open up the jar we downloaded we just downloaded the installer and what you want to do is you want to click install client and you want to make sure the folder that it's installing to looks something like this then press ok and just let it install it'll do its thing it'll go through a few various few steps and what it's going to do here is it's going to install a custom launcher option into the minecraft launcher so that we can easily select it easily run forge i'm going to show you how to do that and then we'll install the mods after so just wait for the installation to complete and then we're going to jump to the minecraft launcher so once it's installed it should say successfully installed client forge profile after that you want to actually open up the minecraft launcher so you want to go to installations at the top and you want to create a new version and i'm just going to call this tutorial forge 1.14.4 and you want to go down to the version and this is where forge would have installed itself too as you can see it says release 1.14.4 forge-28014 click that or whatever version of forge you installed and click create and then what we can do is we can go to play and we can go down and we can select our new profile and then when you play it it's going to run forge and forge is going to be completely working now you want to go to any mods website that supports mods i recommend curse forge or get any mods that you want to install ready for this process i'm just going to install a random mod so as you can see all versions i'm going to select 1.14.4 just to make sure it's supported and i'm going to go ahead and just install a random mod now we can go to biomes of plenty one thing i didn't realize is when you go to files there's actually a button called view all because it will show some of the most stable versions like 1.12 if you click on view all it'll actually show us all versions and you can see here that biomes of plenty actually supports 1.14.4 so i'm going to go ahead and download that and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually move this file to a folder where i know where it is and then i'm going to show you how to install it so now that you can see i do actually have this biomes of plenty jar we just downloaded on my desktop in the top left you can see that now you might have downloaded it to a different folder but just make sure you know where it is because we're going to move the file then click somewhere in the address bar and type percentage sign app data percentage press enter and go into dot minecraft now in here there's going to be a few different folders we're going to be focusing on the mods folder i have a lot of mods which support 1.12.2 so you might have to remove different versions of mods if you're using a newer version or older version but for now we're just going to test it throw the new jar file for whatever mod you downloaded into the mods folder and then what we're going to do is we're going to run that new profile make sure it is the profile we just made and we're going to run that new profile let anything download and let forge load with minecraft and load the mod we just installed i'm going to wait for it just to prove you guys that the whole process works works just to show you guys the installation was successful like i said if you do run into any specific problems with the mods sometimes it will say this mod's newer or this mod's older and can't be ran with this version of forge so do remember to delete older or newer versions of mods in your mod folder because sometimes they do cause a few issues but like with mine i'm just going to go ahead and run it anyway just to make sure we don't run into any issues because i would like to keep those mods in the folder so as you can see it did say that the game crashed i'm just going to go ahead and delete everything other than biomes of plenty and i'm just going to run it again and now as you can see now i've deleted the other mod files which were older or newer 
it's actually not crashed the game anymore and you'll see that forge has actually ran now this is forge beta by the way this is an experimental build because it's on the newest version of minecraft or snapshot if you like so it may not be too stable you can see now we have biomes of plenty on the mods if you click the mods button you can test if your mods working and if we click single player for an example click create a new world go to more world options you'll now see we have a few different biomes in there as well biomes of plenty is one of them and that's what our mod actually is so you can see that now our mods working forge is working and the whole process is effective so if this helped you install mods guys make sure to smash the like button below let me know which mods you installed in the comments i always read every single comment and let me know in the comments if you want me to teach you how to do anything else on minecraft or if you want me to play a certain map or mod i'm definitely down i always read all the comments click like if the video was helpful and share it to anyone who might be having problems with this and make sure to subscribe guys because we have daily minecraft videos of some of the coolest things on this channel and you definitely don't want to miss it so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time